my channel for those of you who are new here hello and welcome my name is Stanzi and today we're doing another cooking with me video today we are actually going to cook <laughs> yes we are we're not just putting things together we're actually gonna cook I'm actually in my sister's kitchen if you guys are wondering where I'm from those of you that watch my vlogs will recognize this kitchen um, there is currently no one here so I thought it's great for me to film but also I'm just coming and making dinner for us tonight and I am going to make burgers. Who doesn't love burgers? It's a Friday night, so I thought, let's make some burgers because, you know, I always feel like Fridays are that, like, takeaway night. It's the end of a work week, the re relaxation kind of evening where most people buy takeaway, I would think. So we're just going to make homemade burgers and let us feel like it's takeaway. So instead of keep going in this intro because it's going to take forever, let's get these burgers started. Okay, so they're going to be beef burgers. Um, look, this is just cooking with me. I don't, I'm not going to tell you precise measurements of things. If you really want a recipe, I'm happy to put it down below for you guys. If I do remember, I might put it down. It's a lot of it's in my head, like recipes I've seen, and then I'm just putting things together because that's how I operate. So that's what we're going to do. So I've got some beef mince here. Um, it looks to be about a kilo. My sister left it for me, so I'm not 100% sure how much it is. But there is five of us, so a kilo seems like it would be. I've got some tomato paste, um, some barbecue sauce, an egg, and some breadcrumbs. So I'm just going to mix all that in a bowl, plus some herbs and spices. I've just got to find a bowl. See, this is what happens when you don't cook in your own kitchen. You don't know where things are literally searched the whole kitchen and I could not find a stainless steel bowl and I know when my sister watches this she's probably gonna laugh because she's gonna be like it was just over there but I didn't do a mum looks so I didn't move everything because I didn't have time for that so I'm just gonna use a saucepan that'll do good enough <laughs> all right so what I'm gonna do is put them in into the pot did I say saucepan it's a pot isn't it Okay, make sure your hands are clean too, guys, when you're cooking. All right, so, because this is a lot of with your hands stuff. Oh, I hate touching meat with my hands. But anyway, so I've got that in there. Okay, now we're just going to mix everything together. I'm just going to put the egg because just get that out of the way. Pop the egg in there. So I know, guys, lately my videos have been like a little bit of everything because... I mean, I don't want to be just linked to fashion. I love fashion. Absolutely love it. But I love beauty and I love cooking. I love doing so many other things that, like, I just want to show you guys my world. So I want you guys to see the stuff that I do. Also, who loves Vegeta? This is like, I know it's probably got MSG and stuff and whatever. I don't know. What else? But this one is the best one i think it's is it made like overseas somewhere it is made in croatia but it's the best one to use so anyway a good couple of teaspoons i mean look i like my food and so does my family we like it really flavored we don't we're not ones to be shy on salt and stuff so that's sort of like your salt replacement so i'm gonna put some of the dry so i've got the egg in there got the Vegeta. Let's let's put some paprika as well. So my sister's got her window behind here so we can get some light. They've got the door open so I'm hoping nobody makes too much sound outside that interferes with us here. So uh, probably a teaspoon of the paprika. Oh, oh, I'm very much so a person who like I cook and make up stuff as I go. Am I too far for you guys? But I'm trying to stand far enough so you guys can actually see what I'm doing okay so once we've got that in there we've got some garlic salt here as well so chuck some of that in there like a good probably a teaspoon poof that was quite strong very strong all right so it's um I would normally use barbecue sauce but we have this smoky barbecue marinade it's a little bit left so I'm going to use that in place of the barbecue sauce because it's pretty much the same thing I would say so good chunk of that in there and also some tomato paste 
So you guys could use ketchup if you wanted to. We just, we do have tomato paste here, so I'm going to use that. I'm also just going by with whatever my sister has in her kitchen. All right, so we've done that, done that. I'm going to also put some pepper. Like I said, I love to mix flavors together. And you got to remember, because we're cooking for a kilo in there, you need a lot of that, like, dry ingredients. Anyway, I mean, I'm just dreading touching this with my hands. And some rosemary as well, because I like rosemary. All right. So, I think I used all of these. Yep, and now it's time to put in some breadcrumbs. So you could use flour if you wanted to, but I'm using breadcrumbs. I think most people usually use breadcrumbs, don't they? I don't even know how much that was. I fuck. Oh, look, so I'm like my mother. We don't use measurements. Let's first. I'm going to try and mix it with a wooden spoon. See in case I need to, because I really don't want to add more ingredients. Like whilst my hands are dirty, because then that gets a bit harder there. So. I'm going to try and mix it a bit here just to see if it needs more wet or dry ingredients. I'm thinking it needs some more wet ingredients because we want it to stick together. I actually probably think we need one more egg. So we'll grab that. Some parmesan because I, I feel like my sister uses parmesan when she makes it. We're sort of running low on the parmesan here, but I'll just use whatever's left in here and they can buy a new one. Guys, I remembered that we always have to put an onion when we make burgers. So I just went off and chopped up, finally chopped up some onions. They're really small, but I'm not sure because my sister just hates onions. So I don't want to put it in her share. So I'm just going to put like some meat aside to make her her own patty. Maybe two patties. And then I'll make them without the onion and then I'll put the onion on the rest. Just to be sure. I think she would still eat it. However, I just want to make sure that, you know, I don't get in trouble by her and therefore I'll just put her meat aside and I'll make the rest with the onion. And I'm also thinking to make it a little bit healthier, this is tiny little carrot, but I'm going to grate this into it also. So I'm just grating the carrot here because I like to put in vegetables here and there where, where I can. Can you hear me over that grater? Um, just so then, you know, even for myself, not just for kids, just to make sure, like, I get more vegetables into my diet and, you know, with as many meals. I mean, usually, yes, with a burger, you always put, like, lettuce and tomato. I don't eat tomato, but, like, lettuce and beetroot if you want. You know, make it an Aussie burger. You can put an egg. I'm just going to mix that around and put the onions in. So guys, I've mixed it all with the wooden spoon together. Now I'm going to get my hands dirty and roll them up. And then I'm going to set them aside. Uh, normally I would refrigerate them for about half an hour. Um, I might have about half an hour because it shouldn't take me too long to cook them. I'm just going to make my sister's ones first. So then I know which ones are hers. I might make them a little bit more on the bigger side. So that way you only need to put like one in the burger bun. I think they should be okay. So, well that one looks like Australia. <laughs> so yeah, normally I'll just do that. I've got a plate here. I put some baking paper on there so it doesn't stick to the plate. I normally give you guys a bit of a story time when I am filming these, don't I? What shall we talk about while well, I'm putting these together? We, okay, well I just, I started vlogging today, so I already told you guys in my vlog that I'm going to New York on a one week vacation. I'll share some more stuff about my life now, um, if you guys are interested. Uh, I actually quit my um, regular full time job, just wanted to take some time out for myself. Um, you know, get my mind thinking as to where I wanted to go with my future, what I wanted to do um, with my life. Um, you know, I think, sorry about that. I think a lot of us are always too afraid to leave our current employment um, 
you know, without straight away having another job to go to, I definitely totally understand. And I know people, some people are definitely financially not able to do like what I am doing, taking a little bit of time off. I totally understand that for those people. I'm lucky that I kind of planned this. That's why I sort of moved in with my parents. Um, so I could save a little bit, so I could have a little bit of time off just to, you know, focus on doing some YouTube, spend some time with my dog, you know, refresh my mind and just like have a new out thought on life. You know, those of you who are like OG Stanzi star members would probably know that uh, just over a year ago I lost a good friend and um, and you know life is short so just live it enjoy yourself and you know don't let other people dictate what you do with your life don't let your fears dictate your life don't let other people tell you what you should do with your life don't let anyone tell you that you're too old to do something or too young to do something unless it's something illegal but if it's like something that you really want to do with your life go out and do it don't sit back you know behind your computer screen or whatever and like whinge away that you know why is that person so popular or why is that person doing this or that and you, what are you actually doing about it get off up off your ass and do something if you want to do something like i feel like don't be a hater on other people who have gotten off the ass and lived their life yeah we're not all successful we're not all going to be millionaires or whatever but if you don't give things a chance in life you will never know so it's just having this time off has given me such a good outlook on life that you know i'm ready now to do whatever it is that i'm going to do and i'm really happy and that i took that time and i definitely needed it um, i'm in such a much better headspace because as we all know mental health is such an important issue and people tend to ignore it or some people laugh it off or whatever but just focus on you because if you don't focus on you who else is going to so absolutely people are going to say stuff to you all the time people are always going to try and pull you down or tell you what they think is right or how you should be living your life but don't listen because you live your own life the way you want to if you make mistakes they're your own mistakes to make you can only learn from them i've done so much in my life that whatever like there's been lots of mistakes that i've made but you know it's made me who the person i am today i mean when i was young i got bullied so much but you know look at me now yeah do i look like some skinny model no definitely not but i don't care i'm out here on youtube or on instagram or whatever and just living my life and showing you guys that you can live it too you live it for yourself you don't live it for others just remember that it's your own life Okay guys, so I have put them all together. See how they don't look like they're not rounded or anything because they're homemade. They're made with love. So I've just placed like baking paper in each so they don't sort of stick together. And I know my sister doesn't bake so this, she won't miss it. And I'm just going to pop them in the fridge. You can cover them with glad wrap. I'm not going to have them in the fridge for that long so I'm not putting any glad wrap. Put them in the fridge, they'll set for a little bit. We'll leave them in there for half an hour and then we'll take them out and cook them just frying them up okay guys this is what the burger is i've got some bread uh, i've got i put just an egg white on there some cheese my burger barbecue sauce i'm going to put some onions and some lettuce and we're done so thanks for watching this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you soon bye